Everybody, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central European time. What time is it? You say it. Enrico Martini show. Um, I'm pretty hyped today because um, we have like a really special guest and another guest as well, which is like the co-host. I made up my mind and tried to do it as crazy as possible again. So hopefully you enjoy it. Um, all the comments, all the questions, use the chat. Um, we can see it already. I even have some support today, but I, I don't want to make it any more exciting. I will introduce today's topic, and that's the topic. We have Jarvis McLean today here in our show at the Enrico Martin Show. Hello, Jarvis. What's up? What's up? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Did I say Jarvis McLean? I Clam. I McClam, totally yeah, wrong. McClam. It's fine, man. It's fine. I'm used to it by now, so I'm good, man. I'm yeah, good. you look. I'm actually. You look great. You look great. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. You do too, man. I'm glad to be on the show. Thank you for having me. You know, I'm ready. Let's get to it. And also, I like the song, by the way, man. You like that song? song? Like, I will. Yeah. I will show you again. That's my buddy from Dresden. Do you know Dresden, the city of Germany? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like near near Berlin, like one hour away. Um. My buddy Fazmi, uh, David Raderecht, I, I know him for about 25 years or something, and I have a couple of guys I I can always count on, and, and everything in regards of friendship and music, I call this guy, and he did this in, in about an hour, because I'm always short of a notice. I asked you yesterday, can you be on the show tomorrow? And you said, yes, my number is yeah. called, I'm here. Thank I'm you, ready, man. man. You always gotta be ready. Always gotta I have be ready an, to go. I have another guy I can count on, and that's my co-host of today. That's Ric Ricardo Oliveira. That's the guy from yeah. Portugal living yeah. in Innsbruck, Tirol. I have him on the big screen. Hello, Ricardo. What's up? Hello, hello, hello. Um, today is gonna be a bit of an improv between me and uh, and Enrico. It's we talk a lot, but it's the first time we are talking person so it's pretty cool to be to be meeting you guys uh, since I, I enjoy so much both of your games and uh, being able here to be talking with both of you guys it's pretty cool and all the community because i know that you have a good community and uh, yeah just i am i'm by the way i'm the guy from the chaos sport design if somebody follows or follows that's how i met both some... of them in fact hey ricardo have a look at this I even have a special um, yeah. implementation. Yeah. You like the graphics? Call That's my right <laughs> artist buddy. So um, great to have you guys. Um, Ricardo, um, yeah. you said already, like, we we are chatting for about three, four months now. Or is it is it mm -hmm. lo longer? And we are no, like... I think it, it's more or less... It, well, yeah, it's more or less... We are, we are working together like three, four months, yeah. And Jarvis, the, the contact came up because he was seeing that I was doing the Enrico Martini show. He said, like, mm, we can, um, in regards of graphic, we can upgrade it a little bit. Do you want my support? And I said, like, if, okay, send me the bill. What, what do you want? And he was like, no, I want to support you, buddy, because you're doing good shit. And I said, like, yeah. that's so much American football atmosphere. I love you, buddy, already. And now we are working really closely. We are chatting every day with with each other but we never had a phone call or a video call or something it's seriously the first time um we are meeting each other so it's a blind date for us as well but that's the yeah. magic of the enrico martini show um people around the american football environment meeting um each other and have one passion in common that's the american football topic and that's why 
um, the people are now watching and we are trying to get to know Jarvis McClam. Um, I was interrupting you a little bit. You're used to get the wrong pronunciation, Jarvis McLean or something? What was yeah, it? Um, it's always um, McClam. But that, that's close enough. But, you know, I really don't care anymore because <laughs> I'm used to it. But, um, yeah, McClam, also in school, they say McLean a lot. I get McCain sometimes. And I'm, I'm like, you guys aren't even trying to say my name. If you say McCain. So, yeah, but I really don't care anymore. Did, how did the Raiders approach you? Like, did they pronounce your name the correct way? Yeah, um, they just say Jarvis. So, I guess that's the <laughs> way to go. Just saying Jarvis is the safest way. So, yeah. That's the right have, way to do it. Yeah. I have so many questions. And one, uh, Ricardo, can you do me one favor? Since I'm the boss host, host you're the co-host. Mm -hmm. And can you keep the chat in, in check? Can you read it a yeah. little bit and try and to implement the questions? Because that's something I was really lacking. Um, that's probably also because I'm not a professional podcaster. I have such a little um, old MacBook here and I can't really read it, but I can see you guys. I can see you guys. And we yeah. want to, um, like my. My viewers know the, know the concept already. We're pretty much winging it. We, of course, we have prepared some topics which are interesting to us. Um, but we want to get to know the person, the human, the character underneath the helmet. Okay, That's what the show is all about. We don't want to talk about your stats. Obviously, you're a good football player and you get signed by the, by the Swako Tirol Raiders and that is great. Congratulations, Jarvis. How was that? Um, how did that develop? How do you, where do you want to start? Let us know. Um, actually, the process was kind of smooth. Um, what's it called? Coach was talking to me, I want to say, early November. Because I knew I wanted to sign somewhere before my birthday. My birthday is November 17th. So I was like, I'm going to listen to all the teams that's contacted me. I had mostly all GFL teams at first, every GFL team, to be honest, and some ELF teams. But I wanted to go somewhere where I felt wanted, you know. So uh, Coach Heron, he was on me every day. He was calling me every day. So I was like, right, this guy really wants me. So, um, yeah, actually, Christian and I, Christian Strong, who also just signed, we was in um, Florida for uh, XFL workout. And he was talking to us both at the same time while we was there constantly on us so I was like hey Christian I think I'm gonna sign and he was all right uh, if you sign I'm gonna be there with you so yeah that's how it all started and that's going to be a great update for the for the Raiders in Innsbruck to get um a really well connected duo and we we were watching one um last season it's the duo which went to Paris um it's yeah. um um Zach Edwards and mm -hmm. Kyle Sweet Kyle Sweet yeah, yeah. Kyle Sweet yeah they, they were crazy last year. What do you say, Jarvis? Oh, yeah, they were good. Uh, definitely, you know, after our games in the GFL, we, of course, watch every ELF highlight, you know, while we're keeping stats of who's who's. Because we had a feeling that we were going to be in the ELF soon. So we're just seeing who's, who's the guys and stuff like that. But they yeah, are a good duo, to be honest. They're really good. Yeah, and it's pretty cool the 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 growth that the LF is going is having like imports like Jarvis that's starting to look up and say oh this this is the goal in Europe to go to, mm -hmm. and I think that's pretty cool and it, it got uh, it developed really really well in the in this last two years or, or three years and I'm not recalling really well but it's really nice to to for the imports and for the for, especially for the Europeans to know that. There's a, a league that they have to they want to achieve. Like before, it was GFL, maybe the Maple League, the uh, the a a a AFL. But with Europe league, football league, it's like it's a Europe thing. It's not a yeah. German or it's an Europe thing, and that's really cool. And also see the play styles, different play styles. It's pretty cool. I have a question. Um, I have a question to well, Jarvis. Like, is it? <laughs> I just I just want to read some comments because there are people already saying hello. Paul already said hello, and yeah. uh, Hendrix. Do you say, know who uh, Paul is, Jarvis? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know Paul. Yes, yeah. you know Paul already. Paul is. Yeah, I know Paul. Yeah, the Mike Mike said Buenasera, Martini, uh, Big Perti said Servus, 
So we have a, a, a lot of hellos. I'll keep uh, Enrico on the comments, so you can comment whatever you like. There's also a question already for, for Jarvis uh, from Mike asking, where in the States are you from? That's a good question. Um, I'm originally from uh, Laurel, Maryland. But right now I live in Columbia, South Carolina. So yeah, I'm from Lower Maryland. Okay. How did, you come, can... how, how did you come to to Cologne, Germany to play American football? What is that? Tell me. <laughs> um, I guess it all started, what, 2017? I graduated 2017. And then um, Christian and I, we went to Australia together, 2018. And then after that, um, It was Langenfield, Longhorns. I, I was there for two years and then Cologne. So, you know, just just being out there playing football, you know, you play good, teams notice you and they want to have you on their team for the next season. So that's basically how it happened. I got, some, I got something for you. Since you're like uh, multiple years in, in Germany already, um, maybe you can read out what I just show to, oh, the, <laughs> to the viewers. What is um, written there? Schreib uns deine commentary in the chat. Good. Yeah. Job. There you go. There you go. Uh, I, I hope I said that right. So you did. I hope I said it right. Okay, perfect. I have another one. I will bring it in later because when I was preparing that show, <laughs> it's a test. I was. We have a test at the I end, was, so get it right, Jerry. Exactly. <laughs> let me get my let me get my notebook ready. Exactly. I like the players. I like the players with the notebook because um, I attended a couple of um, other American football uh, meetings already. Now we're having it via, via Zoom and shit like that. And taking notes is really important to be a student of the game, understanding and to um, to think about it again. And it's like the notebook is Don't take it too easy. That's really important. So I like Jarvis, your whole mentality. Um, I was calling you standout GFA player. To my opinion, um, was playing defensive backfield for many years. I uh, used to return kicks and punts. And I was really electrified when I was watching your tape because you were so elusive. And, and that's really it's unpredictable where you're running. So that's, I'm, I'm a great fan of you already. I can tell no, you. Thank that. you. Thank you. I appreciate that. man. So, thank you. Uh, just by watching a highlight you... tape, <laughs> just by watching the highlight tape. And that's when, um, for now, my last question, Ricardo quick heads up to you. Mm -hmm. Um, um, which is like something which was really didn't, wanted to go into my mind that you didn't play European League of Football the last two years already because you're such a great player. And I won't say like the GFL is not a great league. It is a, a really solid league for many years yeah. of Germany um, outside of the US. But the European League of Football is the real deal now. And that's for two years already. Um, yeah. Why didn't you play there? The last um, honestly, the first, the first year that the ELF came, I was kind of skeptical, you know, it's the first year, you don't know yeah. if anything's going to happen. Um, and I already told my coach at Langenfield that I was coming back. So I'm big on loyalty. If I tell you something, I'm a man of my word. I'm a, I'm a hold up to it. So I already told him I was coming back no matter what happened. And then the second year, um, I went to play with Christian again because I played with Christian in college. So I was a, hey, um, if Cologne wants me, I'll come play with you, bro. And then he set it up and everything worked out. So I could have been in the ELF from day one but i just have my values and i stick with what i'm going to say so that's the reason why honestly uh and if you guys want to also know who christian uh also uh jarvis is a youtuber correct am i correct so he yeah, also I'm, has a, YouTube I'm a casual channel. casual yeah. youtuber yeah, <laughs> yeah is is a uh, um more like reaction to unboxing and uh Uh, what kind of uh, uh, shoes or cleats or, or like vision helmets and even helmets. So it's pretty cool, uh, cool, pretty cool YouTube uh, to see it. And uh, you also have, I think, a vlog with, with Christian. Am I right? When you yeah, guys went to the... Yeah, oh, but, yeah, yeah but I only saw the last one. Oh, yeah, I saw the last time one time you went um, to, to, to Florida, right? To For uh, a practice? 
Yep, uh, went to Florida. I have one. The first time we went to Paris. And uh, some of them are around in Cologne, you know. Christian's always in my okay. videos. Yeah, so he's always there. Okay. I, I want to ask, uh, Mike wants to ask you from, from the chat, uh, if you are a Ravens fan. Uh, what kind of Ravens? Baltimore Ravens or Munich Ravens? Yeah, Baltimore Which Ravens. But I think oh, Baltimore, uh, Baltimore. <laughs> I think uh, Baltimore, Baltimore Ravens? Ravens. Uh, no, I'm not a Baltimore Ravens fan. Actually, I don't have a faith in the NFL team, so I just like certain players. So yeah, oh, yeah the my favorite Ravens player on the Ravens. My favorite Ravens Ravens. player is Lamar Jackson. So yeah, yeah. I love oh, yeah. Lamar Jackson, and that's something yeah. we are all agreeing on because in the pre-talk before we um, let you in. Like, like five minutes beforehand, I was talking to Ricardo about his Buccaneers um, um, hoodie, yeah. and and he was telling me the same. Like he's also fan of um, players and not of a special particular team. And did you get the the Munich um, hype, Jarvis? Last year, you got to know this, right? That one game was yeah. in in Germany, an NFL game. Ricardo was at that game. You, you were not, right? No, I wasn't at the game. I think we had a playoff game that week or weekend. Something happened and we couldn't go. Or the tickets sold out too quick. I think that's what happened. The tickets sold out too quick. Yeah, that, that was so, that was it. It was insane because yeah. my wife was like at PM there at points, like refreshing the page and she was already out. Yeah, it's already mm -hmm. sold out. So it's crazy. Yeah. And then like the atmosphere just had, in like, Europe is crazy with football. Right. Yeah, it's growing. It's that's that's really good. I'm I'm really happy for it. Yeah, and I think a lot comes from from imports that help help the the culture grow. That's really good. And also the players go into the NLF, the NFL, the the yeah, uh, the pathway. Sure. The pathway. It's really good. Like I think there's so many more Giants fans right now in 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 Austria and Cardinal fans because of. Uh, uh, the, the the receiver I don't know oh, now it's a tight end and the Pat Schumer so it grew so much and it makes sense I think Brazil it's like a Dolphins fan now they are a Dolphins fan because of the O line that was there yep um, hey, Don say guys, hello everybody oh, oh sorry I was just no, reading no, no, some no. comments Don Anderson it's a, it's like a really loyal fan you like loyalty that's what you said Jarvis and Don yes, Anderson I never got to know this guy before this show and he's watching every single one of it live and thank you a lot don anderson um there are a lot of cool people i got to know that's why i'm continue doing this even even though i'm not that good in it but people tell me it's great hey we have a new comment uncle charlie yeah. says Tiv tivoli has prime i can't read it because of my stupid prime audi logo. Uh, audience watch out Oh yeah, that's what a perfect that Uncle Charlie is saying. So, do you see that stadium in the background of our little video chat there? That's the yep. Tivoli Stadium, Jarvis. That's the stadium yes. you're gonna play in. Um, seriously, many many players, many franchises, many clubs from all over Europe say that's a really special environment. I was playing there for over a decade, and Ricardo wow. was watching me. Is it is yeah, it crazy? And now I'm not playing no more, but I'm going to into the the coaching now. So that's all crazy. Uh, Oli, um, Ricardo, Ricardo, tell us about the the Raiders experience at the Tivoli Stadium. Yeah, let me just read because Mike is asking if I'm if I'm Brazilian. I'm not Brazilian. I'm Portuguese. I can understand because he wrote it in Portuguese already in the chat. I'm Portuguese. Uh, I'm not Brazilian, but uh, yeah, we both talk Portuguese. Anyway, uh, man, I can say I went to almost all the games in the Tivoli Stadium uh, last year uh, for the Raiders. I think I missed one because I was getting married in Portugal, and the other one I think I had a game. I think I had, or I think I had games. And uh, man, I have to tell you that it was one of the best feelings I ever saw in um, in Europe, playing foot, because I only saw NFL in, in, in London at that time, and that's mm -hmm. really not seeing an NFL game because there's not a group of fans, so it's just yeah. watching a show, so it's like, uh, but I like the atmosphere. And one of my best favorite games was the um, 
against the Frankfurt Galaxy. It was insane. It was so loud on the stadium and the, the, the Raiders feel like half of the stadium. And it was like everybody screaming at, at, the, at, at the, the game. And it was one of the best environments I've ever been in, in Europe. It was really, 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 really cool. Everybody was into it. And I think the players felt it. I talked with somebody from the field and they say it was really loud. It was, it was so good and the atmosphere was so good. And the Raiders have really good fan base. They have a good fan base and like the, it's the Raider Nation. The Raider Nation, you can see them like girls, guys, uh, whatever, old, young. Everything they are, in everybody between. Um, John, everything in between. Fall? after before and it's like everybody's there it's like it's 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 a, a people's game it's i really enjoy it Jarvis, when it, you man. were playing in 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 germany in cologne and 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 so on this was like four years something right mm -hmm. how yep. long did you play in germany were you uh, three years in the, germany uh, three years in germany were you following the raiders the, do they report about it was it of your interest um, or I didn't really follow them, but of course, like you said, like the Raiders, they're well known in Europe. And of course, you always hear about them. So every year, I always heard about the Raiders because everyone talks about them. They're like one of the best teams in Europe. So I always heard something about them. Yeah. They, they have their special, special uh, experience in that stadium. It's not only because of DJ Fu, a good friend of mine. I was living in. I have German roots, okay? I was born in Germany and I moved to Innsbruck, um, Austria when I was 20 years old for studies. Maybe um, was thinking I can make the roster of the Raiders and that's how it developed, how I had like a really successful decade with the Swako Raiders. I'm really proud of this. Do you, can you see the rings here behind me? That's, oh, that's my I, I can see them. I, I can that's see a couple them. of them. <laughs> I'm trying to get one, man. So, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get one of those. I yeah, think but this is um, going to be really good. But when I'm scrolling um, through your Instagram, I didn't watch the YouTube videos. I'm really sorry. Um, but I'm trying it's to right. get to know the people here live. Hopefully, I will also let you talk finally. But that's something um, you can talk like a lot about it because that's. I got a feeling when I was going through your Instagram that you are really humble even though you're like the show off guy show your your um apps apps muscles and um i was really busy at the at the weight room and the off season i have some guns i showed them as well but there's something which is like like really controversial to it like the the things you are writing um the how you caption it that's like really humble and that goes um um, along with the being loyal. Tell us something about your philosophy playing the sport and what you will bring to the Raiders. Let me know. Um, I'll say I always have to be humble. You know, my parents instilled that into me when I was younger. So I always remain humble in everything that I do um, and I always keep God my main focus. So I'm a big uh, Christian guy, so I'm big on religion. So, yeah, um, being humble and also to bring to um, the Raiders, just being um a leader on the field, basically leader on the field and off the field and bring a excitement to the stadium. You know, you guys know I like to dance and stuff for celebrations, you know, after I score a touchdown or something. I like to interact with the crowd. So I just want to I want to turn that stadium up. So basically, yeah, just have fun out there, man. That's it. Just don't get scared with the shot. Oh, oh the, I won't the, get scared. I'll, I'll be excited. After, after the touchdown, there's a huge bah! sometimes. Oh, yeah. don't 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 tell him about the cannonball. That's a big surprise. Even though even though you know about it, you're going to be surprised the first season exactly. anyway. After every yeah, season, after every touchdown, the cannonball fires, and I was um, I was surprised for many years. Even though I knew about yeah. it, that it's going to happen. Yeah. It's great. Exactly. It's That's great. why I said. Ricardo. Yeah. So I have I have a question for Mike Matias. What are you guys saying that the champions? No, what are you guys saying that to that the champions might have might ha might have to play our uh, their training room because they won't find the stadium in Vienna. I think is I don't get really 
But are you guys saying that the, the champions might have to play? Uh, are there? Uh, it's about Vienna. They are. They ask. They are asking about Vienna, and there's um, boy, everybody. I will not say it like this. There's like two le two really elite teams in Austria, even though Austria is such a smaller country than Germany. Um, but there's some really two good programs. It's Vienna Vikings and the Swaco Raiders. Mm -hmm. And and the question is about the Vikings from Vienna because they had some troubles last season with their stadium because of soccer events. And they told them about um, four days before the semifinal versus Barcelona, they not, they're mm -hmm. not able to, 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 to use that stadium. Wow. And so they had to um, have that semifinal on the practice field where they have a little stands there. But I don't know, Mike Matthias, how it's going to develop in Vienna. I'm not with my head in Vienna no more. I'm separated. It's my history with the Raiders and the new chapter with the Prague Lions. I'm sitting in Vienna right now. Mike Matthias, whenever I will get new information, I will let you know. But for now, we don't have any. I'm sorry. Can I just say that I'm so happy that finally the Raiders and the Vikings are not in the same conference? I love their games, <laughs> but man, it's always so hard. I, 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 don't, I, I, don't, I don't know how to express it. I think it, playing it on the playoff, it's going to be so much more hyped than in the, in the, during the league. It was, it was an amazing game, but man, at least like having other teams, you know, it's like seeing the, I never saw the Barcelona, Barcelona Dragons live. I never, I never saw the, the, well, all the other teams are mostly kind of new. So it's, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy that at least this time uh, it was, it was separate. They separated, separated them and were able to like make him in different conference. I'm really happy for it. I'm, Jarvis, I'm like that. I can cheer for both of them. Jarvis, did you did you hear about the rivalry between Innsbruck and Vienna? Have you heard oh, yeah. about it? Yeah, I've heard about it. It's... I even watched it a couple times. Yeah, it's, it's been a long going rivalry forever since the beginning of time. Yeah, so I've done I've done you some will... history on it. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's how to say. That's you how to say it. You will feel it. You would. You will feel it. Um, you will have a regular season interconference game. I guess against Vienna yep. this time. Yep. Um, I'm really happy, Jarvis, to have you with the Raiders because you're making such a good impression. We had um, obviously the the European leagues teams buy in some really gifted Americans to play the game for us, but you bring some good personal um, appearance to me in this um, podcast here. Uh, what about Christian? Is he a bad um, ball thrower? Or is, what is it to expect from him? No, he's oh, your guy. Christian, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> Christian's good, man. I've been, um, I've known Christian since 2013 when we were just um, little boys going to college, ten, you know? So now- 10 year um, anniversary. From, yeah, honestly, yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna, one more year together, you know? Hopefully we get to the championship. Yeah, but Christian's like that. I think you can. You guys can do it. I think you are yeah, in a, in a sure, good. Uh, sure. uh, and I also want to say I, I think um, and correct me if I wrong, but my perception from the LF teams have been that um, Ocean teams, especially I'm going to talk about the Ocean teams, it's that they have in uh, inner um, talent. So it's like the imports are a plus, yes, but they are not the game. And that's a huge thing, especially in Europe. And I think that's what you could see, like, in the Vikings, it was not the imports only doing the plays. You could see, like, the Oceans doing the plays, like, straight. It's, like, one of my favorite players, the, the safety or the outside linebacker. I don't, I, or Nickel, I don't remember his position. He's everywhere from the Vikings. He's everywhere and he's, he's, he's an Ocean, I believe. And when I, I when I heard that he was Ocean, I was like, wow, this guy is so good. Like Schneider, the smallest guy on the field, and he's making plays all over it. Yeah. It's like he throws, throws the ball and he, can, he will catch it. And I saw him in, in real life, and I'm like, wow, this guy is really uh, short, but he's so good. It makes him I like so Schneider good. a lot, man. Yeah. I like he's, Schneider. He Watching him on film, he's nice, man. I can't wait to play 
play alongside of him is going to be amazing. I can't wait, man. It's going to be good. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. I I feel more in our shade sec. They they develop their own uh, talents and. In Germany, maybe they also have that talent, but they put more the game on the on on the shoulders of the imports. For example, the Centurions well, last year they have Bounce that was sick. He's so good, but there's also other players, and you know one of them, Justin. He's, he's in the chat already here. He's, yeah, he's a really yeah. good player, and he didn't got that much chance to show it. I don't know if it's like the game plan is not really for for uh, for other for other players outside of imports but if when the time came, comes to it, it it was always the ball is going to pounce and he had like two guys uh covering double coverage and he would get that ball it, for yeah. me that that was always insane the Raiders had the problem with him in fact when they played there uh, they lost last but I think it's good for um I think yeah, it's good for teams team. to have great ingrown players like you know um yeah. like you said Schneider like watching him on film is crazy I feel like once I get out there, me and Christian, we work with all the other receivers. It's like, of course, I might get double teamed, but if you double team me, yeah. Schneider's wide open. Um, exactly. What's his name? Plotzgummer's wide open. Um, Plotzgummer, yeah. Yeah, it's like all these other receivers are open, so you can't just key on me. You have to key on all of us as a whole unit. So I just yeah, exactly. can't wait to get started and get ready, man. I'm getting yeah. excited. I'm, get, I'm getting chills. <laughs> After the beat, you're going for hey, a job. Jarvis, do you have more to say to the Raiders fans? Because since um, maybe some um, loyal followers of my time um, watching the show right now and maybe will watch it afterwards on YouTube or on Twitch, do you have some message? Because you didn't have so much um, chance right now to talk to the Raiders. Um, um, do you want to say something to them? What to expect? Um, to the Raiders fans, so you're going to expect a show every yeah. game, you know. I'm here to please. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to play my best, you know, come to every game, support, cheer loud, you know. You might be on one of my YouTube videos one day. So, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> just come out and support. And um, we'll chat it up. We'll take pictures and everything. I can't wait to see you guys there. I have something, um, another um, text for you, Jarvis. Maybe you want to read it out. Um, um, it's probably a little, little harder. <laughs> All right, I got to pre-read it first. Hold on. All right. Flagen, nur plemo, nur plemo, plebero dos maden chat us. Exactly. The problem is Italian, no? It's it is. Like, right, okay. No problem. Oh, no problem. Probier doch mal den chat us. Try to... Uh, right into the chat. It wasn't that bad, Jarvis. Okay. You another yeah. check mark. Okay, from my side. Hey, Ricardo, you have another question for Jarvis? Yeah, Mike is also asking tough one. This is really a tough. I think I know the answer, but I will ask it anyway. Which one does he prefer? Which one do you prefer? One, lose the game closely, but you produce some great stats. Two, the teams, the team wins quite easily, but you can't show anything. Which one would I prefer? Yeah, one or two. Oh, the team wins. It's all about the win. Uh, For me, it's yeah, all about the win. Right. I, I, really, I really don't care. I don't care about stats, to be honest. Like, it's a couple yeah. of games last year. I had no touchdowns, but we won the game. So, I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I do not care about stats at all. And uh, Slicey. Perfect I think answer you know for, the, for the for the European fans. They yeah. We had different guys here in, in Europe. Um, sometimes some players were all about themselves, and and that's the perfect answer. It was like yeah. um, golden the way you answered it because it was yeah. authentic as well. And I, we believe in you. That's the the kind of support the Raiders need. Great to have you, man. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you, man. And Slesi asked, I think you know who is Slesi. Uh, who is the best yeah. German wide receiver you ever played with? <laughs> I would say Justin, man. Justin Schuller Singer. I think that's how I say his last name. I think he's last name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but it's yeah, so hard, Justin. man. I, even his email is wrong. Like the, the title of the email is wrong. Yeah. And I once I did an image for him and I put the wrong name because I copied like the, 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 the Gmail thing where it has the name. Oh. And he's like, no, no, that's wrong, man. You, you wrote it right, wrong. I'm like, wow. 
Man, you should yeah, fix that's my that. Guy. Yeah, Justin's my guy, man. I actually had one of his jersey shirts. I had to purchase one, so just to show support, you know. I still wear oh. it around here. Even though no one knows who he is, I still wear it loud <laughs> and proud. So Justin's my guy, man. That's really nice. Cool. And uh, on Kill Shirley ask, um, when will you arrive in Innsbruck? Um, right now, I think uh, early April. I'll be there in early April. So I'm ready okay. to get over there as soon as possible. D. Maxi said it already a long time ago, but he said Jarvis is the most amazing player I've ever seen on the field. I think it's uh, proud of you, bro. It's oh, thank D. You, man. D. Thank Mac. You thank you, D. Mac. I think. What What do you think is one of your fav uh, your best characteristics uh, on the field? What What do, would you say it's the best characteristic for you? Um, I would say just being dominant. Just because every time I touch the ball, I'm trying to score. To be honest, like. When I touch it, I'm trying to score because I know I'm going to be tired after the play. So I'm like, all right, if I score, I can go to the bench, get, get some water. But just to be dominant on and off the field, um, exert dominance, trying to manhandle my opponent, you know, just being dominant. But within the rules, of course, yeah. but being dominant, yeah. I, I, know. I know why Kevin, Coach Kevin Heron liked you because you – really make the impression of a great warrior. And that's exactly how your highlight reel looks like. We have an, yeah. another good question. I also got time to read it. Mike Matthias is asking if you prefer the, the go, the fade routes, or you more like the slant with one cut, something crazy route running um, off, the, um, off the passing tree. What do you prefer um, more? I prefer a slant, to be honest. Because I get the ball quick. I'm more dangerous with the ball with my hands now, you know. If you watch my highlight tape, you get the ball in my hands. It's yeah. not one guy will tackle me. It takes multiple. So, um, yeah, just a slant or a quick screen, something like that, easy. Mm. That will be my favorite. Yeah. Jay Bray, favorite I, I see already <clears throat> a lot of these motions and the bubble and, and the jailbreak. And I can see you. Yeah. They will get the ball into your hands, like, really quickly. Um yeah, returner as well. That's important for a returner yep. as well, right? You yep. you think you got a shot on the return? Um, taking spot? notes. I mean, yeah. Um, Enri Enrique is already it. taking notes. Careful, okay? Enrique yeah. is like, okay, <laughs> special team, I mean, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I mean, if they put me back there, you know, I'm a team player, so if the coach needs me back there, anything that the team needs, you know, so. Yeah, so. I, I will yeah. ask you. Yeah, I can ask you both. What do you guys think? Because it's also the first time for both of you. The the, the kickoff it's different from you. What you guys are used to. What are you guys expecting from it? Like Enrico, what Enrico, what are you what are you expecting from it? Like the experience itself. I'm not saying like anything specific, but uh, what what do you think? It's like harder. It's easier. It makes sense to have it. Doesn't make sense to have it. What what is your opinion about it? Jarvis, he was asking me, right? Yeah, he yeah. was asking me, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm the special teams coordinator of one um, European League of Football team right now. I'm really deep into that topic at the moment, especially yeah. kickoff, kickoff return, because the alignment is so different. We have that additional, um, um, it's not 100% XFL league rules. There's one additional rule which the ball needs to land um, within the 20 near to the returner. And when he caught it after three seconds, and there's a lot of things, but it's basically like Jarvis knows that a nickel cornerback is aligned on you on the slot um, spot, like in catch technique, four or five yards off. That's something like a heads up yeah. kind of a press. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. If you... Um, do some crossing and I have some good things uh, in mind but I I will not tell you Ricardo yeah. what I'm going to do no 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 I don't want to know I want to know your opinion about it it's like if because they they only implement it I think it's in XFL and the in the Europe uh, football league and I, I want to know if uh, I, I I can imagine how hard it must be for everyone basically except for maybe the kickoff team that now, it's uh, it doesn't get that much blast like full speed, but uh, what 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 do, what do you hey, think? Jarvis, tell us what do you think about oh, yeah, the the, 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 um, the rule change? Is it like less collisions now? 
I'm a huge fan. I will say, I will call out. I'm a huge fan of the regular kickoff and kickoff return. Yeah. NFL style. Yes. That's what I played for so many years. But maybe I will get used to it. I will work into this topic right now. I will probably love it after this season yeah. because I had so much yeah. success. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so pers personally, I'm just like you. I really don't. I really don't like the new uh, kickoff rule, but it is safer. Like you said, I, I fell in love with the old hardcore game. You know, even though the rules are being like you have to be safe, tackle with your head up. I kind of like that violent stuff. That's why I played the game to begin with. But um, the new kickoff rule, I feel like it will be easier because everyone's already there. You already have your man. Just stay on your guy. He's already close to you. Just stay in wherever he goes, you go. And as you return it, I feel like you can easily make it to the 40 or 50 every time. Yeah. Just from watching from last year's highlights. Seems like everyone to make it from the 35 to 50. So I'm like, it gives yeah. the kickoff team an event kick return team an advantage. So I feel like it'll be easier. But it kind of also makes it makes you always play it if it doesn't if it makes sense. Since you always get in yeah. 20 yards minimum, it's like okay, I have the 20 yards guarantee, I can only get more. So yep. at least they, it's like you can always try it. And in the normal or the previous rules, it was you could never know. That's why there's touchbacks and whatnot. It's because I'm not going to risk myself to get like yeah. 10 yards or something. And maybe that makes like the, 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 the returner to try it more out, to try it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. That makes yeah, ask you something, Joe. Let me let me ask you, so, Jarvis. You said like you're pretty close to the guy you need to block already, but um, you have the same circumstances when they try to cover you on a passing route. <laughs> they are like sometimes impressed. They maybe in catch technique, and you say it's it should be manageable since they are mm -hmm. so close already, but they cannot handle you. Um, True, but, <laughs> so, but that's it's so, different so, though. So, it's different because, like, with kickoff and kick return, you can kind of hold a little bit more. When you're trying to defend me from catching the ball, you can't hold me running down the field. So that's why it will make it different and easier. So that's why I say that. I will make, take, take notes. notes. Hey, you can yeah. take notes. It's you not can, that. <laughs> <laughs> you can take notes. Go ahead. Take notes. You know you know, everyone uh, holds. Everyone holds. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's not the uh, – it's it's not a science. It's just or you get yeah. it's like like the same as stealing. As long as you don't get caught, you never you never hold. Well, well I don't know about stealing, so I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> <Me> neither, <laughs> but it's, it's what they say, you know. Okay, uh, it's what they say. Uh, yeah, exactly. D Mac, I don't know how to write his name again, but uh, he asked, "Do you think you would be the same beast or a different savage on defense?" I feel like D Mac is my brother. It's either my brother or father. So I think I'm going to yeah. be the same beast, same beast and different animal or different savage. So I'm going to be both of them at the if same it's, time. If we, I, I, want, I already did this outside, but uh, when we were before, but I want to shout out to your father on you, our YouTube videos. He's sick. I like him a lot on the videos. I want to shout, shout him out. I don't know if it's him or if it's your brother. If it's your father, shout out to you. If it's your brother, go say to your father that I shout it out. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, hey. And if you didn't see, go check it out because it's really it's a nice duo between father and son. Yeah. Uh, when the episode that he appears, it's really really cool. Uh, Mike Matias, yeah, Mike Matias asks, "What do you hey, guys think of the XFL extra point rules with the one and two and three points play?" Um, Jarvis, I kind of like I like it. Being an offensive guy, you always want to score more points, you know. Um, creates excitement. It creates excitement towards the end of the game, too, in case if you should have went for a three-point instead of a one, you know? So I kind of like it. Hey, Mikey, I'm 100% d'accord with uh, Jarvis. Seriously, that brings some more excitement to the game. You have some other options. Strategically, you can go a little different with the yeah. scoring, and that's that's funny thing. I would like to keep this. Um, guys... I told everybody like we are doing like 45 minutes, like one hour. It's not close to end it, but I just want to let you know um, we will try to 
um, make it for about another 10 minutes, and then it's going to be over, okay? Um, okay. Jarvis, you want to read out another one? I just prepared um, for you, read German lesson. That's not the same one? Yeah, that, that oh, hey, no, one. now. That's a tough word. Uh, and football quite will in how vinig messy. That's right. Was good. That's 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 my producer, football quark. I don't even know the the English word for quark. Ricardo, can you help me? I also don't. I also I don't know um, what this what he meant. I was just posting the the YouTube channel for Jarvis. If the guys want to check hey, it out, what what does all the bodybuilders eat? Like Cereals. high protein. White, yeah. no, not serious. That's all sugar. Um, I'm talking about um, the high protein muesli. from the milk production. You can, no, not muesli, no, serious. <laughs> um, just, just the thick white, um, like oatmeal, maybe some, yeah, I think it might be oatmeal, oatmeal, yeah. um, porridge. Um... Uh, yeah, it's close to porridge, it's called <laughs> quark. In, in 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 Austria they have an even different name for it. It's called Topfen. To almost Aus what did the uh, translator say? It's quark. I can't read it. It's quark. It says it's quark too. It's quark too. You don't know quark, Jarvis? Oh, cottage cheese. I see someone said no. cottage yeah, cheese. Yeah, cottage cheese. I got it. Yeah, I know cottage this. cheese. Yeah, but okay. so that's the, that's my producer here, football quark. They do all this nice setup so we can talk here. And they say like a lot of uh, content, but not that much of a mass thing. So that's the, but it's a German pun. You you cannot get it since okay. it's, gotcha. but you read it out really nice. Football quark, viel Inhalt, wenig Masse. Read it out again. Uh, football quark, viel Inhalt, wenig Masse. Yeah. Perfect. And now big surprise when you come to Innsbruck, to that special part of Austria, they will not speak German <laughs> with you. It's going to be Tyrolean German. Yeah. <laughs> Even though that, I got born that with that language, I had a hard time understanding that. Ricardo, tell Jarvis um, some um, experiences when you came to Innsbruck and trying to understand the German. So first of all, my German was not the best when I came here. But when I was in Portugal, I was moving here with my to, to live with my girlfriend at the time, and I had German classes, and they were really like giving in to the Derridas, you know, the articles, and they were like, "No, you have to know them all and stuff in Portugal." When I came here, like it was, it was a chaos, man. It's like a person that says there, and the other one will say das, and. Uh, Nobody cares about the articles. It's not, not exactly like that, but it's like, for example, the word uh, "mude." It's like you say "mied," and if you go like 500, 500 kilometers more or five, 50 kilometers more, it's it's uh, another word and uh, another oh, word, yeah. and it's it's like, oh, why was I learning German, man? I just give a class for Austrian for, for like for Tirol or like for Tirol is not possible <laughs> because there's a million dialects, but. Like, I don't know, Innsbruck dialect class, come here now. Oh, man. You know? Yeah, it that, might be tough that's... for me then, man. <laughs> yeah, but, you, you have but to, since like, you're try in to that, get more in that, Since you're in that football environment, everybody will speak English with you, so you will take easy on communicating with people. But if you're seriously interested in getting to know some Tyrolean teammates a little better, um, they will teach you some special German, and that's funny, but that's Always. that's where they show their heart, okay? If you yeah, try so. to take it a little bit, um, give your best on, um, say, like, um, that's Shiach. Shiach means, like, that's really um, garbage. Shiach. Okay, okay. okay. I never heard Shiach. of it. Shiach. Shiach, or... Yeah. yeah, you can say, uh, uh, Ricardo, what to say, um, hello, as a greeting in the beginning, like, what could be, uh, like, polite when Jarvis is doing, like, 
how, how do you mean it in German? Uh, Grüß Gott, Grüß Gott. You can say Grüß Gott. Yeah. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott, it's a blessing day. <laughs> Wait, can I just say hello? Like, Hi. Yeah, of course. Hi. Hello Hi. or servus. Hi. Servus. <laughs> that's the, that's the, it's servus, servus. Yeah, I, okay. I, I don't remember anymore, but it's like a million ways of saying servus. Uh, yeah, and the right. morning yeah. also. Sometimes they say it, other, other times they, they say Morgan. Not the, sometimes it's, 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 it's fun. It's fun sometimes like to, for, for your brain to like, uh, I, I, I kind of understand what this word means, but... Uh -huh. I'm not really, I'm not really there. What, what does it mean? And it's like, I don't know if you kind of understand it. It's like five minutes after. Oh, shit. Oh, I know what it means now. Like, okay. the, yeah, that happened. That's like somebody say it to me. And like after me, after five minutes, I'm like, did, did you just say tired? He say, yeah, yeah, mied, mude. I'm like, wow. I don't, I don't even know how you got there. It was, it's, a, it's a nice experience like in your in your brain and the time that it takes like to like to like you get used to it it is it is cool um hey Giles, have a, will your family sorry. have the chance to to come to to one of your games in yes europe um, yes not not the past four years but this year they're going to come over this year yes yeah, so they should i can't, have you I, can't ever been I can't wait for them to come you said what Have, have you ever been in Tyrol? Oh, never. No, it's gonna be my first time. May, I my first I time. have to say that is. Are you a mountains guy or a beach guy? Oh, I'll say mountains. Man, you're yeah. gonna be in your dream. Well, I, I have to wait. tell I... you. I will. Every time I was going to work in my bicycle, doesn't matter if it's cold or sunny. It's an amazing view every freaking time you are playing that's i think it's one one of the most amazing things on playing on the tivoli you are playing and you can see the mountain on the back it's like it's it's just like a, you know those screen uh, pictures that you have on your windows uh, wallpaper it looks yeah, like, like a screensaver, that. A screensaver. every yeah, time yeah, yeah. every time winter uh, summer spring it's always a a, a winter uh, screensaver it's a screensaver it's it's, 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 it's absolutely it's, 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 but continue continue tell um, us about your family who's going to come sorry, which game do you know um, already i think they're coming to the stuttgart game i think that's stuttgart our game? second the second to last or last home game yeah they're gonna be at the mm -hmm. stuttgart game my mom dad brother aunts uncles cousins so we might pack it up we might that pack sounds the stadium great. Actually, one of my uh, you have to bring your A game. One of my uncles right now. Yeah. You, one of my uncles. You have to bring your A game vaccinated. to Stuttgart. Yep. Yeah, there you go. That's not a single time. Um, you will have to bring your A game at Stuttgart Search Game because they are rebuilding the franchise yeah. at the moment. They, they're a different um, enemy this year. So I guess that's a really good game for your family. I'm really happy yeah. to for your family, because especially what Ricardo explained to you, the great atmosphere of the mountains and everything, everybody will fall in love with. And then they will also have a really good game at Tivoli Stadium with DJ Fu and Paul doing the um, all the game day and administration and everything. It's going to be fun. They will probably stay um, in Innsbruck with you a longer time if they get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I they can't should. wait, man. I can't wait. They should. It's a, it's a nice visit for... for um, Singletary. It's one of the most That's his real sing name? Daniel Singletary? Yeah, Daniel Singletary. Yep, that's my uncle right there. Yep. Yeah, I, I only heard the, the, the name Singletary from the NFL player, so oh, I yeah. never was used to... Yeah, yep, I need exactly. Somebody, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But he's, he's hyped already to come to Austria. Ricardo, um... Yeah, what else do you want to? I'm always interrupting you. I'm really sorry. We are trying no, to no, figure no out worries, the co-host no thing. I'm, I'm just. I have okay, a lot yeah. of questions. I'm just trying to remember like ones that uh, won't take us uh, five hours. But I, I can ask you like a, a more kind of serious question. What do you guys think about the impact the ELF brought to the to the other leagues? 
good or bad? What What do you guys think? Uh, I'll go you first. Can um, I think yeah. I think it kind of helps and kind of uh, I would say it helps it a lot, but also takes away from the other teams that just want to go out there and have fun for real. Um, because we took a hit last year with Cologne Crocodiles. Like we'll have a home game, but the Centurions have a home game too. So at the same time, so it pulls both of our fans, like and the stadium is split, you know what I'm saying? So like the whole city was divided. Should I support the Centurions today or the Crocodiles today? So I guess that would be the only way that it, it didn't help. But other than that, I think it's good. Um, of course, all the players or European players want to play in the best league. So of course they want to try their best to get to the ELF. So um, I'll say it, it helps it a lot, to be honest. So yeah, it's more more plus than minus. And what yeah. do you think, Henrik? Um, I think it's it's a great upgrade for the European American football scene. Um, you have to support this league because it's um, making the impression it's going to be the best of all. And of course, we have some issues. We have only a certain amount of players which can play play in this league or in that league, especially when you have two teams in, in, in one um, city. Um, but in the end of the day, if they do it correctly with the schedule and they yeah. have some um, transition, something, a player can join the playoffs in that other team. And if they don't fight against each other, which they finally start to working with each other, which they started about two, three uh, weeks ago, They will have to figure out a way together and um, GFL never brought the 4K camera into the end zone like um, European League of Football did um, last season. So uh, that's that's a new thing and you cannot um, be against it. You have to figure out a way to live yeah, next to each I other. Yeah, I think I think it's what Jarvis said. It's like a lot of teams got a bit of a a break especially from the GFL but uh, I think it's it's like a, a champ a, a, the soccer champions league but like the whole season which is like the best teams from and the the, the like that the the talent it's concentrated in 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 one team and that's that's I think it's what they wanted and yeah. it's it creates a goal for everybody. It's like imports coming here, even they if they want just to come to GFL to then be here already for the LF. It's a, a good start. Uh, players that are young now they have like something to go to. It's like NFL. It was a most a really quite almost impossible dream to achieve, although it it was possible, but really 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 hard. And they have to move to America really early and risk a lot. And uh, in here, it's like now they have the young kids. They have something to look up for. It's like, oh, I, 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 I want to be on the ELF, and it's possible. It's a dream that it's, it's, it's possible. It's always possible, but this one is more realistically possible. Let's, let's call it. It's just hard work, uh, playing as much as you can, and enjoying the game. Because I, it's, I think it's one of the things I see in your game tape, Jarvis, is that you enjoy a lot the game. You are literally having fun and Enrico I, it's one of the things I loved about him when he played the same he was really having fun and it's it was not even that common to see like Raiders celebrate or anything and you could see that, like the Enrico was having fun he was sitting hard and doesn't matter the size of the other guy would always go full speed hit and then celebrate and I think <laughs> that's uh, yeah that, that's that's, that's really That was really nice, Ricardo, how you said so. Um, I'm a little sad at the moment because I'm not um, playing with Jarvis in one team um, yeah. right now, but he's joining this league and we all love. We simply said so. And he's going to play for the one of the best programs in the league and it's the Raiders. And uh, congratulations again. Such a great um, decision and stay the way you are because if you like seriously that humble and that focused and everything and um, really want to make every time you touch a ball you want to score a touchdown boy you're going to be a superstar in this league 
Um, I, I have, I expect a lot from you. You look really good in shape, and yeah. um, I can see see it in your eyes that you really want to show it, and that's something I will follow you a lot. Ricardo, do you want to say some nice words to Jarvis? Because we're uh, finally yeah. coming so, to the end, and Jarvis can finalize it in the end. Yeah. So uh, f first of all, thank you, uh, Enrico, for inviting me, and I'm really happy that it was with Jarvis, since uh, it's it's a player that I'm I'm also following th through social media. He's really in interactive in the social media, as on YouTube, as on the field, uh, on the games. You have it's really a nice perspective of an import player in Europe and it's really cool to see that that lifestyle and uh, I'm really looking forward to see you on the field uh, and the pro maybe on practice maybe you have practice at the same time as me uh, since I play flag football on, on the Raiders uh, maybe we see ourselves in the field and I'm looking forward to see your uh, plays big plays small plays doesn't matter I'll be there on the on the stands, and I hope uh, the Raider Nation grows as uh, the league is growing. So one day uh, we can fill up the stadium, and I think with players like you, I think it's 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 possible. I think the league is really growing, and I'm really happy that uh, from from the four people I did the image for the Longhorns already, I was already with Justin. I, I'm, I'm gonna uh, I met you, and now afterwards it's Anthony and Yannick from the Rhine Fire. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's uh, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. I did four images for for the for the for the Longhorns, and three of them right now are the, in the ELF, which is pretty cool. Oh. And I, yeah, I'm I'm, cool. I'm able to meet them, which is even better. So. I'm happy for it, and uh, I'm looking forward for this season for both of you, even for 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 Enrico as the the prac coach, special yeah. teams. I'm 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 ex expecting uh, expecting a lot of cool things from the special teams. I know this guy is creative, so let's yeah. see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last words to you, Jarvis, and then um, I have three more things. Okay, a little surprise I got for you, Jarvis. Okay. You first. Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you for having me on, Enrico. Um, finally being on the, the show. I'm glad to be here. Had a nice, wonderful talk. Hopefully, I get to see you in person. Hopefully, it'll be in the playoffs. So, yeah, that'll be good for both of us. We see each other in the playoffs. And, uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Chaos, for the designs. All the designs you do for all the players. You do fantastic work. So, I love it, man. Uh, this definitely won't be our thank last you. chat together. So, so yeah. I, I loved it a lot, guys. Um, thank you a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm a little I'm sad right now because we didn't, didn't let Jarvis talk so much. But Jarvis, you did mm -hmm. a great job. You made a great impression. You showed that you are 100% focused and you want to, whenever your name is called, you will say, Coach, I do it. And that's the players this league needs. And the Raiders finally got one of the better ones. That's, that's really cool for the Raiders and um, one more little I got two more text and since Ricardo is living in Austria forever he can read out this one and the next Ooh. one and the final one will get um, Jarvis mm -hmm. again Ricardo it's your, okay, it's your well, I, don't, go. Uh, I am not um, okay oh, good luck to me um, ein ehrliches, ehrliches Dankeschön an Unsere zu sehen und zu sehen. Sehr. Good. The other Good. one also. No. The other and one. The, the, line on, it, yeah, the line underneath is okay. pretty easy. I will read it out for you guys. Schreib mir doch bitte dein Feedback in die Kommentare oder als DM an Radar XI. That's the wrong. Enrico Martini on Instagram, Football Quark, wherever you want to text me. Your, your feedback and the big final. Um, Jarvis also needs to read out the final thing. Then I will play the intro again of my buddy and the graphic of Ricardo, the sound by my buddy from Dresden. And then we're going to be offline. Thank you guys. It was great. Jarvis, your last um, thing you need to read out. That's it. Oh, perfect. You like the graphics? 
<laughs> Come out in the open and leave. Ricardo, some props on Instagram. Chaos Sports Design. Let's get it. Yes. Uh, Let's get you, it. Yo. Okay, <laughs> boy. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't flex, less some, less some, I'm such like, I don't flex, less some.